Welcome all of you to our channel. Thank you for watching. I was raped by my boss and my wife. I went on a business trip with my boss and his wife. They offered me some sparkling water on the drive to the hotel. I tasted something funny, so I stopped drinking, but nevertheless felt dizzy and woozy. When we got to the hotel, I tried to make eye contact with the staff, but they just averted their eyes. Probably because my boss comes there all the time and books everything under his company's name, and five-star hotels are known to protect discretion. I end up going to my room, and they both both follow me and take my key and open my door for me. I felt so cornered and scared, and my brain was moving like it was underwater. I was supporting myself over the desk, and then my boss grabbed me and started fondling me, and his wife joined in, and penetration soon followed. Afterwards, I should have run for the door, but I felt so, but I felt humiliated and defeated. When I tried to get to the door before, my boss said, chasing me through him, and he'd always catch me. My boss and his wife made me get into the bathtub and filled it with soap and washed my private parts. And in at night, they were so thorough and afterwards made me use baby wipes on them. No so trace of sex remained. Now I'm back home. I had the spending another two days with them because I was terrified of what they'd do. The other two days were fine, but they bought me gifts and told me how much they cared about me. They also said they were going to give me a raise, which I really need to support my sick brother. I can't do anything that reminds me of sex. I can barely even wipe myself after going to the bathroom. That has a strong taste. I run over what they tell me inside my head, like that my vagina and anus is stretched, and we never truly stretch back, because they were molded to accommodate his penis. And that any person I try to have sex with will know. The worst part is that I feel emotionally connected to him and his wife, almost like a sixth sense of love, and I wish for them to just be nice to me. I have to go to work tomorrow, and I don't know how I can go on. Nobody, even random hotel employees, will ever help me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share video, and leave your comments below. See you guys on the next episode.